Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Ruben, Ruben Paredes, RP Images, Fremont, San Miguel Bulls is my other account. And today we're gonna to talk about something that has been um, haunting me and uh, several people that have unfortunately bought a pup and they have come back with a heart murmur. There's different levels of heart murmur. It goes from one to six and uh, you know, I'll discuss exactly what the, you know, heart murmur is and the different levels and you know what the terms for you know different grades are like a grade one could be a slight grade a grade two could be cardiac insufficiency it could be something wrong with the bicuspid valve the tricuspid valve the myocardium the atrium the right atrium I mean there's so many variables that's why they grade them and so with that being said you know today I'm gonna discuss this little nifty instrument it's very very basic you just put it up to your ears in such fashion and you're gonna put this area right here. It's got two sections, you know, for once for high frequencies, low frequencies, low frequencies right here. You're gonna just gonna put this right at the dog's sternum between the second and the fourth rib. You're basically gonna, basically going to oscillate the heart. And what you wanna be hearing is something like a, a lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. If you hear something like a lub, whoosh, dub, lub, whoosh, dub, then there obviously is something wrong with a valve, a, a myocardium, uh, it could be a bicuspid or tricuspid. For the most part, it's a, it's a bicuspid, you know, valve insufficiency, but you know, that is left up to a cardiologist. There's more sophisticated levels of instrumentation out there that can actually diagnose those type of things. But with that being said, I'm also going to reiterate and go back a little bit is you can buy a stethoscope like this for 10 bucks at Walgreens. The higher grade ones like the Litmans and such, they go uh, higher. There's some that can actually even digitally record the sounds and almost diagnose you know what's going on so this is gonna help you guys in the long run because a lot of times you buy a puppy you can't get them to the veterinarian Oop, excuse that sound they're partying back there <laughs> they can't get you can't get to the veterinarian and you want to be able to oscillate the heart on your own you buy one of these it's gonna be a little awkward you know but it's better to uh, be able to self-diagnose something early instead of like having to wait when the dogs you know have a lot of issues down the road and then you know seven eight nine ten months go by and you know, all of a sudden surprise, hey, you know what? Unfortunately, this dog has a uh, cardiac insufficiency. I want my money back. And you know, we're gonna avoid all that dilemma doing a quick heart auscultation. Sometimes you know, the breeder can't get the dogs to the, the veterinarian or the veterinarian don't know what to listen for. A lot of them are very, very, very capable, believe me. Bulldogs are extremely hard. Brachycephalic breeds are very, very hard because they're kind of snoring and breathing at the same time. They're gonna <laughs> So you have to really pay close attention to what you're listening to with the stethoscope, you know? Um, I'm gonna demonstrate right here with one of my little pups here, and we're gonna go in between the third and fourth rib, and then that way you guys can, um, and then I'll also have some audible noises. I'll actually record, upload them to what to listen for. You know, average heart rate on a dog, uh, you know, dogs underneath uh, 30 pounds is anywhere from 60 to 120. Uh, all bigger dogs, you know, could, could they could drop way more now the other thing is like remember some of these heart murmurs they can actually outgrow them you know it could be like a puppy with three to four months it's just got a very slight heart murmur like a grade one a grade two and they can actually that bicuspid valve or the myocardium can actually create some sufficiency and start to stop the actual you know valve from giving that insufficiency of blood going into the system. The heart murmurs are not to be taken lightly. So that's why I wanted to make this video, especially for consumers. This is more like of a consumer thing. So without further ado, let me get the pup, throw them on the table, and hopefully we can get somewhere and you guys can see how I physically do a heart auscultation. Come here, buddy. Hey, papa. Oh, All right, you guys, many, many of you guys have already met little Perry right here. So I'll just put them up here at the table, put them on this little contraption here. This is a grooming, a grooming stand. Um, so what's gonna happen guys is you're gonna grab your stethoscope and hopefully the, the pup's not, you know, excited or, or is not too uh, breathing too laborious, laboriously, you know, 
kind of want to have them in a, in a nice quiet room where there'll be no interference. This will cancel out all the noises, you know? And you want to put this right here in your ears. Right here. Here's the sternum. You want to go in between the one, two, three, fourth rib, right there. His heart sounds like a champ. That's why I stayed there for so long listening to it. You know, so the other thing is if you want to get an actual uh, heart rate is you can count the, the numbers of love, dub, love, dub in 15 seconds. Multiply that by four and that'll give you your heart rate. The other thing you can do is you can actually check their pulse right here at the femoral, right in this region right here. And remember to use your fingers, not your thumb, because humans, we have a pulse in our thumb. So try to use your fingers and also do the count for 15 seconds. And there's that with the heart rate should correlate, but that's not the basis of this uh, video here. We're um, talking about, you know, the actual potential heart murmurs, you know, and how to uh, catch them. And this, like I said, more for the consumer to be able to catch them and then hopefully not run into any issues. And uh, he's a little cold right now. It's actually a little nippy and he was inside. So he's probably wondering what the heck are we doing here, dad? You know, so I um, want to thank little Perry here for being our, our model and demonstrating that. Look at all these eye boogers. And um, I will upload and I will uh, give you guys what to listen for. Okay, guys, over and out. Once again, RP Images, San Miguel Bulls. You guys take care of your dogs like Trevor says. And for me, it's don't find a dog, find a mentor. God bless.